Jared Poland, fro knows photo.com. FX DX full frame cropped sensor. Some of you don't understand what that is, and that's okay. FX is full frame. That means it's the the they the full 35 millimeter sensor. It's the same size as film was when we were shooting film. It's more expensive because it's more expensive to make that sensor. Uh, there's a lot more circuitry. It's more in a pro end body. A smaller sensor, which is the size, if you remember, APS film was 24 millimeters. It is smaller than a 35 millimeter frame. That is your DX or what they call cropped sensor. Canon has three different size sensors. Um, I don't remember exactly, but it's a 1.6 crop factor, meaning any lens you times by 1.6. Then they have a 1.3, which is in their sports cameras, and then they have a full frame. Nikon has two. They have full frame, which is called FX, and then they have DX, which is their cropped sensor. What's the difference? Well, full frame lenses are designed to work on full frame cameras and crop sensor cameras. Depending on, you know, the Canons will focus, autofocus any, ca uh, any lens because they have digital focusing. And the Nikon, if you have AFS lenses, you can use them on the lower end crop sensors. The D300S, the D90, the D80, the D70, and the D60 will all autofocus no matter what lens you put on there. <coughs> but remember this, that a full frame lens that was designed for a full frame FX sensor will take extremely sharp images on a DX camera because you're using the center point, the most sharp point of a, of a lens, the, the, small, the, the center area. Because the DX sensor or the crop sensor is smaller, it's only going to use the sweet spot of the lens. And the sweet spot is usually the center portion. So that's a good thing. Can you put a DX lens on a full frame camera? Yes, on the Nikon end you can but it will then drop the megapixels and just use the smaller portion of the sensor. Not something you really want to do. So it brings up a dilemma when you're buying lenses. Do you want to invest in a cropped sensor lens or should you buy full frame lenses and use them on the crop sensor? Most of your lenses are going to be full frame. You can use the 51.4, the 51.8, the 70 to 200s. The zoom lenses you don't have to worry about um, because they're going to be good on both. It's the wide angle that you are more worrying about when you're on a cropped sensor. But if you're only buying one cropped lens, you want to get the wider angle. You want to get a 12 to 24, you want to get a 17 to 50, or an 18 to 50. That gives you the wide angle on, an, on a DX camera or a, a crop sensor camera. Those lenses you can sell as you go full frame. But mostly, as you get into the zoom range, you don't need to worry about buying a DX-only lens. I would invest in the better glass at that point and just get regular lenses that will work when you step up to a full-frame camera if you do. But it's one of those things. You need to get some DX lenses to compensate for the wide angle. Remember, any DX lens that you put on, like an 18 to 50, you multiply it by either 1.5 or 1.6 on the Canon, 1.5 on the Nikon. That's just so that you get the 35 millimeter equivalent. So, you're gonna get a uh, more depth of field, well, no, not more depth of field, but you're gonna get a nicer image. This is what FX is better at, high ISOs. There may be only 20, you know, 12 megapixels, 12 million pixels on an FX camera on certain brands, and comparable to a 12 megapixel on a DX, you're going to get better ISO because they're bigger pixels. The bigger the pixels, the more light you're going to gather, the better the high ISO capability of the camera is going to be. That's the advantage of full frame, better low light shooting. But a lot of nature photographers like to use DX because they get more bang for their buck with their zoom lenses. So that is full frame versus crop sensor. Jared Poland, Fro Nose Photo, Dot com. See ya.